What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another HP Envy 750. This is the desktop. Gonna be upgrades. So I'm gonna switch to the other side. And first you're gonna do is remove the side cover panel. There's a thumb screw here in the back. And you're gonna slide it to the left. And first I'm going to do guys is I'm going to be upgrading uh, another hard drive, I'll show you how to do that, 3.5 inch. So you're going to disconnect the stadium power cable, there's a little latch you press on right here on the left. It slides up like this. And I'm going to be guys using, uh, I'm going to be going at least 2 terabytes. And you'll need a... Uh, Torx uh, T15 screwdriver, or you can use a flathead screwdriver to move the screws from the hard drive. Now you're going to connect the cable back, set in power, and you're done. Now I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to a uh, solid state drive. So what you guys need to do is you have to buy uh, this bracket, it's a 3.5 uh, inch to 2.5 inch and you just use any kind of 2.5 inch solid state drive you want. So what I have to do is I'm going to need a Phillips screwdriver and I need to install the screws here in the back to mount the solid state drive in the bracket. Okay, now I have to install the two screws here from each side. Then what you have to do is remove the screws from the hard drive.
Okay, so we installed the screws at each side. Now you're gonna go ahead and mount them back like this. Hold on. I have to adjust the screws here in the back like this. Now you're gonna connect back the stadium power back to the solid state drive. Like this and you're done. So now I'm one of you guys gonna be upgrading the memory. It's got it's got 16 gigs of dual channel, but I'm gonna be upgrading to 32 gigs and it's using a DDR4. Install a match pair. And when you install the memory properly, you're gonna hear two clicks. So the memory's installed. Now, guys, I'm gonna be upgrading the VD card. The power supply in here is a 300 watt, and I'm gonna be upgrading to the GTX uh, 1050 Ti. This will work perfectly fine. You don't have to upgrade the VD card. The power supply, you don't have to upgrade. And uh, otherwise, if you can use a GTX 950, it's a lower end VD card, but this will work fine with the power supply, 300 watt. And uh, I'll do a separate, I'll guys, I'll upload a separate video for the GTX. Uh, if you guys are going to be installing a GTX 1060 or a GTX 1070, will also fit in here perfectly fine. Let me get a tape measurement and show you. So if you're doing the, yeah, you can install up to 10 inches video card in here, perfectly fine. And the video cards in here is on the GT730, it's a low end. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, uh, so guys, uh, the power supply upgrade, I'll be uploading a separate video and the disassembly tear down will be a separate video. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to get a Torx 215 screwdriver. There's a latch in the back. And there's one hold by one screw here. Just holds the bracket. And to move the video cord, there's a secure clip right here. You have to use uh, right here in the corner. And just pull the video card, it comes out like this. See, there's a secure clip you have to press on right here, it locks it up and it comes out. Yeah, so the video card, guys, is a GTX 1050 Ti. This is a low profile, and you have to use the full height bracket. It's a low profile, and it's just a 300 watt power supply. It works perfectly fine, it doesn't have a six pin power connection in here. So, go install. You got to remove the it's using two PCI brackets, so there's another bracket that's mounted here. And you have to remove, to do that, you just take a, like this, and it comes out. You have to remove it like, you go like this, and it comes right out. It's mounted to the motherboard, to the case. So now I'm gonna go install it. Hold on, I have to make sure it's straight. This is bracket is straight. So video card is installed. Now you're gonna go ahead and install this uh, for the bracket, the back side, hold the PCI bracket with one screw. And you're done. So guys, this is for the light gaming. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the monitor directly to the VD card. And if you got Windows 10 64 bit install operating system, then you're just gonna go to nvidia.com and get the latest drivers for the VD card for the 64 bit. And install the drivers and restart the computer. So you guys, uh, let me go ahead and put the side cover back on and we're done. Thanks for watching. Bye.